There are protests taking place as we speak right now in Kooch Bihar in West Bengal over the Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana scam. Locals protested yesterday against corruption within the scam. They're claiming that people who are actually are needy did not get their names in the allotment list. Now, I will very quickly go over to my colleague for more details, but I do want to tell you that in the last few weeks, uh, we've also watched Mamta Banerjee have a meeting with the Home Minister, Amit Shah. This was on December 16th. And a little while after that, she also said she'd be at uh, in Kolkata attending an event with the Prime Minister. Both of those occurrences were looked at as proof that Banerjee could possibly be softening her stance towards the BJP's big two. And, and many wondered if this was happening because of the financial crunch that the state government is currently going through. West Bengal is grappling, as we just told you, with the financial crunch. They're in deep need of financial help. And it's possible that to get financial help from the centre, this is what was taking place. Let's go over to my colleague Kamalika right now for more information. Kamalika, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Kamalika, could you give us more context? A, what is the TMC claiming to defend themselves? We've seen what the BJP is saying. The BJP is saying that the centre gave PMA funds, but they were misused by the state. How has the, the state defended itself? Could you tell us? See, there are two things. One is Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana. Another is Narega. Now, uh, the, the allotments, the funds which were given, that is regarding Narega. And uh, for the last one year, the state claims that the center has not given Narega money. So that's a different issue. But on the other hand, Prime Minister Avas Yojana, that funds will be released now by 31st December. And that will go to directly to those people who whose names are there in the allotment list. Now, the corruption, the question that is on and the fight that is on, that is regarding how many people and who are the people who got their names in that allotment list. Now, the visuals which you see from Kuch Bihar is a yesterday's visual where the common people, the poor people who actually required houses, they blocked the road by stating that the common people, the poor people who actually needed house, they did not make it to the list, but the powerful and the rich people of the villages who already had bungalows, and our story is also that, like, you know, as we have shown it, the people with bungalows had their name in that list. Now, this happened, this allotment list happened in... Um, Okay, I think we've lost our connection temporarily with my colleague. Until we're able to re-establish that, I'll bring you more details about what's been taking place. As my colleague was telling us, uh, there are two different schemes that the BJP has been talking about. One is the PMAY, the Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana. The second is Narega. Now, it's the second that the BJP says the centre stopped giving them funds in. It's that that has caused much controversy. Very quickly, we're going to move on right now to a very different story. This is concerning the centre.